Good morning. I want to welcome you to our daily devotion time. What a beautiful Tuesday morning that we have. We want to begin our day with God and spend just a little bit of time with the Lord and so that our day can start in the right way. We're looking at the third verse of 2 John. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and in love. Now, before we unpack a little more of that verse, let's pray. Father, thank you for this day. God, I pray that may you lead God direct our path in the way that will glorify you in Christ's name. Amen. Grace, undeserved, unmerited favor and blessings of God. You know, the depth and the richness of the heart and the mind of God, the kindness, the love that dwells within the very nature of God. God's grace covers all areas of life, and it is an absolutely wonderful aspect that God imparts to you and I. Grace means the kindness, the love that God freely, God freely gives to those who have acted against him. Now, come on, let's face it. We've not always been the kindest to God. It is the favor God showered upon men who do not deserve his favor. Uh, men who are without strength. Ungodly, that's what Paul says in Romans 5, verse 6. Sinners, enemies of God. Uh, Romans 5, 8 and 5, 10. No other word so expresses the depth and the richness of the heart and the mind of God as his wonderful grace. This is the distinctive difference between God's grace and man's grace. Whereas man sometimes does favors, and we do, for friends and thereby can be said to be gracious. But God has done a thing unheard of among men. God has favored man with an unbelievable gift. God has given his very own son to die for his enemies. God's grace is not earned. It's something completely undeserved and unmerited. Paul writes in Titus chapter uh, 3, I believe it was verses 4 and 5, but after the kindness and the love of God, our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Now, God's grace is the free gift of God. God extends his grace out toward mankind. Paul says in Romans chapter 3, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Now, God's grace is the only way May I say, the only way that man can be saved. Paul tells us in Romans 5, If through the offense of one that be Adam, many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, and that is Jesus, hath abounded unto many. Now God's grace means all the favors and all the gifts that God has for us. It means all the good and perfect gifts, all the good and beneficial things that he gives and does for us, whether it be physical, whether it be material, or spiritual. We see this in James chapter 1, verse 17. And Paul writes in the book of Ephesians, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Now, as you ponder through your day, I want you to think about a couple of things. Why is grace something that you 
absolutely do not deserve. Could it ever be possible to pay God back for his grace? What would, what would you consider the good and perfect gifts of God to be? And how can you make these gifts a part of your life? Think on these things as you go through your day. Let's ponder those. And let's see if we can dig into the depthness of the riches of God's wonderful grace. Father, thank you for this day. Lead God and direct us, Lord. And I pray, Lord, I, God, please open the door somewhere today that we may walk through and share with someone of who you are in our life. In Christ's name, amen.